In this problem, we have a car which is traveling around a flat curve. It has a velocity of 25 meters per second. This car is traveling around the curve, which has a radius of 125 meters. And we all know that gravity is equal to 9.8 meters per second squared. Now, we need to draw the free body diagram. To do so, we begin with a dot in the middle, as always. Mg always goes down, and we have Fn resisting it and going up. We assume up is positive. Finally, we have the friction force going towards the center of the curve, and acceleration goes in the same direction. In part B, we want to use the system of the equations to find the frictional force. We begin with the y-axis. In the y-axis, we have sigma f equals zero, because there's no acceleration. So we have fn minus mg equals zero. From here, we know that fn equals mg. In the x-axis, we have a different situation. We have sigma f equals ma. We know that a equals v squared over r. Therefore, we can plug that in. From here, our only force, the frictional force, is equal to mv squared over r. We know that the frictional force equals mu times fn, and that equals mv squared over r. We know that Fn equals Mg. So our final equation will be U times Mg equals Mv squared over R. In part C, we'll use our equation to solve for the coefficient of friction. We have mu Mg equals mv squared over r. Cross up the m's because they cancel each other out. So now we're left with mu is equal to v squared over gr. We divide it by g on each side, by the way. From here, plug in your values of 25 for v, 9.8 for g, and 125 for r to find that the coefficient of friction equals 0 0.51. 